I'm back with milkshakes and meaning, but without the milkshakes, with Brad Wisner. And Brad Wisner is running for First Ward City Council. How are you doing, Brad? I am doing good on this fine Thursday. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is a... Snow's it is, gone. We're good. The snow's gone. I think the it's snow. good. It's going for the rest of the year. So, Brad, has been working out of my gym for... How many? You've been there five, six? Yeah. Five, six years? Five, six. I'd say, uh, right? I mean... What more would you want? Why are you running for city council? Because what what more would you want than working out at XT Fitness? I mean, what <laughs> what more are you striving for? Yeah, it seems like I was lacking something from the. No, you were lacking something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why 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 are you running for, for you first know, board? Uh, because you're 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 not new to Finley, but how long have you been to? How long have been you lived here? here? About eleven years. About eleven years. Okay. Van Wert County. Yeah, and migrated over here. Me and my son. Um, no, it seems like uh, I have a heart for. Serving, obviously, especially with the last year, I've stepped forward and have served uh, different entities, um, United Way, City Mission a lot, lead an outreach group at church, um, Welcome to a New Life, another organization as a mentor. So just, uh, I have that heart for serving others, and I think uh, now's my time to kind of step forward and serve the community and give back a little, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're always coming into the gym to work out, and it seems like you're always going down to the, the city mission to do something. Are you, you, you don't, you, you cook the food down there? No, they won't let me do that. They won't let you cook? Yeah, yeah. But there's always, there's plenty of work. Yeah, there's yeah. Plenty yeah. of volunteer and serving jobs around uh, Philly if a person needs it, obviously. Okay, so we're driving around the first ward right now. Yes. Uh, and, and, uh, we're, 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 we're driving down Crystal Avenue, uh, and, uh, I mean, is there, Issues within the ward that, that you think that you need to address like immediately. I mean, what are what are the issues? Because you know, I, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Finley, Ohio. I love Finley, Ohio. I've never, I've it's been. I, I call Finley, Ohio sometimes Pleasantville, just because I really like it. But there is issues out here, isn't there? Yeah, you know, there's there's issues with any community. Um, as far as ward specific, I don't I don't necessarily mean uh, as. F- you know, the first ward has a bunch of rental properties, so there's a lot of people coming and going um, down off of uh, Melrose, uh, off of Crystal, we just came from, Bright Road area. There's uh, a lot of apartments and stuff like that, so people are coming and going quite a bit. Um, not a whole lot of, I would say, industries. Um, one of my concerns is obviously the Finley Mall. That's stop on my list of what's what uh, if people haven't been in there lately. It's pretty pretty dry, pretty empty. Um, in the county. And, and that's First Ward, Finley Mall, it, it Finley is Village the Mall. First Ward. So that's a concern of mine, um, the, the lack of, I know it was just purchased um, recently within the last year, and now it's being divided up into parcels. Um, and then it was just announced like a week ago that the county um, is purchasing part of that building and turning it into uh, their juvenile justice center um, probate court. So, um, which is good, I think. I've seen some other communities have done that. I know Urbana, they have a their county's purchased uh, an old mall and turned it into their whole county annex. So um, I think that's the way to get um, the space filled up and then hopefully some other tenants come in there and uh, follow suit. So, um, I mean, is that what you want there? You say you're concerned about it, but it, it, so I just don't want to see empty fall down and then go and disrepair um, over time. That's, that's my concern. Obviously people in Finley want um, shopping places. I think a lot of, People now venture out to Perrysburg or up in the Toledo um, area to go shopping, unfortunately. Finley's got a ton of restaurants, um, I think, but it, it seems like it's lacking to the, the shopping. The typical malls are kind of dying out, you know, so now they have the more the outdoor malls, like you said, with Fallen Timbers and stuff. So um, I think they can do some revitalization over that way and hopefully with the county coming in there and buying some of that um it can get turned around and some good tenants in there and some shopping and stuff and then i think the other issue is uh refurbishing some of the schools um i know jacob's school is being flipped over going to be into a preschool now um so it is going to be a preschool the whole thing it's still going to be occupied so that's I mean, a good what thing. power do you have i mean how can if i said hey listen Brad, I mean the mall. I, I you know, I, I don't. Well, what's going on out there? I mean, what, what power do you have to, to, to you know, sway some people or the, uh, one way or the other? 
Um, does that just go to the city council? Is that what it does? It, a lot of it comes through city council. And I know sometimes with people coming in, like the investors and stuff, a lot of them are wanting some tax incentives. Um, if they're going to invest uh, millions of dollars into a facility, they're, they're, going, they're wanting a tax break. Um, so the city can give them that break um, or not give them that break. Same thing with uh, some jobs and stuff that are coming into Finley. Um, and that's where I see, you know, Finley's grow, a growing community. Um, and people are like, how do we grow? the right way and I think Finley's at Finley's at that point to where they can grow the right way and they can be selective in the companies that are wanting to invest in Finley and I mean that by um, we don't want large employers coming in and and with minimum wage jobs we want good paying high quality positions um, so where people can come out of high school or a trade school can go in there and they don't right now are you know some studies are being said are minimum medium wages and been going down um, but what's that? Oh gosh, we're just pressing the you know <laughs> vote Brad Weisner uh, um, on the billboards. Yeah, wow, you're so, all over the place. So Finley can be. I think we can be selective on what companies are wanting to invest in in Finley. What okay, we can be selective. Jobs. All right, okay. Because um, right now, if you go anywhere, um, every place seems like every door you walk into has a hiring um, sign. So that's and that's a. But they can't them. find. I mean, they're having trouble finding. Workers, right? Yeah, it's employees. Back that I thought about the, about the fifteen dollar threshold is where I what I see is um, they can make more money on unemployment, and then with the government assistance surplus um, stimulus money coming in, they're making more by not working than they would be working. Now, if you're making over that fifteen dollars an hour, um, you are going to make more working than you would be on unemployment. So hopefully, yeah. that the stimulus money. The government stops doing that eventually, and people get back to work and need to work. Um, okay, right, right. So we're in that position right now. People are not wanting to work because the government's paying them for money not to work. So, I mean, is the city healthy and thriving right now? Do you do you feel the city is healthy and thriving? You know, um, they came over the uh, COVID pan- pandemic pretty well, um, survived. Um, you know, there's always I, they've been working on the uh, five year strategic plan for quite a while Um, in my book I would like to see that finalized and they be in a better position to where if something like this happens in the future or a a large entity a company folds up and leaves we know where we're at and what cuts we need to make the next day you know if that's um, combining some jobs or services you know obviously we never want to look at the the police and fire They're, they're a critical for any community when they you know when people move here they want to know how safe the town is you know how how safe is it how are your schools etc um but we need to have a plan in place if marathon or coopers or, or whatever would close up right you know what, what what where can we survive what's the threshold of where we need to start making cuts and what are those cuts that can be made so hey we're on dolores avenue right now and you're way over to riverside your ward goes all over there i i don't mean to interrupt you, but my brother lives right right here. Right? That's my brother's house right okay. there, John. Yeah. Great. So, uh, anyhow. Okay, so I know Bud Haas. He, he actually worked out with me back in, gosh, 1997, 98. So, you know, uh, if you run for city council, do you have to work out with, with Jim Stefan or something like that? Is that a prerequisite? Maybe we should, we should you know, stick you gotta that be, in there. you got to be healthy and a hard worker. So, uh, okay, well, what, well, why why should we vote for you instead of, you know, Bud Haas. You know, what I makes you stand out I a little just, bit? I personally don't know Bud very well. Um, all I can know is, is give you the positives on, on me. And uh, I obviously run a positive campaign. So I just know that I have the heart to serve, the willingness to serve, the dedication to serve, the integrity to serve. Um, I can make the promise I won't be outworked. Um, I've been going out, walking the neighborhood. Uh, here's the the ward map everything in blue so far has been out walked um either talked to people they're out and about or, or dropped off a uh, door hanger and i think that's one of the best ways that i find it interesting because when i'm out and about walking i can see some of the issues or just find the community and you know and the housing and where things are at you know it's i think it's pretty interesting if you walk you can drive by a place a hundred times and not realize what's out there unless you get out and walk and kind of walk up and down the street. So, um, it's, it's very interesting to get out and bow, but I just, I don't, I just have that feeling. I'm not doing it for any recognition or reward or anything like that. It's just doing it because I think we're, 
were obviously put here to serve, and then I think that's just the way I can get back to my community. Any, anything in the, your in your ward right now else that really like concerns you, or when you, and when you were out talking to people in the first ward, did people say, "Oh, okay, great," uh, but you know what, we have a problem with litter here, our kids hanging out here. I mean, are those issues that uh, you have to address? You know, those aren't really. Um, when I say kids hanging out here, I don't mean like it's bad to have kids hanging out here, but maybe kids that you know. Or, you know, if there's an emergency I, I don't know. Uh, or a big situation right away, typically people are going to call the, the police department and they're going to come out and take care of the issue. Yeah, um, right. Okay. If it's a continuing problem <clears throat> day after day after day, then, uh, you know, the council can step forward and, you know, what, what can we do to eliminate this problem or what ordinances are already in place um, that we can help the, the citizens of the community out. So I don't see a huge, you know, I always tell people like, what's, what's Finley? I was like, man, Finley's a clean town. And I don't say that, um, and I say that because I mean it because the street sweeper comes up and down my street two, three times a, a month. So I was like, Finley's a clean town because literally yeah. from the trash and, and the crime rate's low, um, you look at some other communities and you're like, wow, but you know, Finley's, Finley's a good, we got some strong leadership on the administration side, you know, the mayor on down, um, the police and fire department are well respected. So it, it's safe to live here. That's why a lot of people want to live here. And then the school system's good. So that's what, um, is wrong people in the Finley. Yeah. I mean, if there was a concern in the first ward and you heard this concern more than once, is that when you bring it up to city council? I would, I, is that what, what steps making, do you take? I believe I'm, I'm working off, um, and making decisions on facts. So I would want to come out myself and, and drive by that area. If it's, if they say it's something that happened every, every night at two o'clock in the morning, my neighbor's dog, you know, there's this ruckus, I, you know, I'll, come out at two o'clock in the morning just to get my facts squared away and say, yeah, it's happening. How can we get it addressed? Okay. Um, so I believe in making decisions on, on facts and not just people's opinion. Um, and that's, and then council, that's kind of the way, you know, why there's, um, seven ward representatives and, and three council at large positions is because, um, there should be discussion. It just not should be going and rubber stamp things. It should be discussed the, the pros of something and the cons of something. And, and we decide what's, what's best for Finley in the community. Interesting. I'm getting a little politics, local politics 101 here today. Uh, I've, uh, I need to get, I, I need to get more, more up on that. You, you, uh, so you, you, I wanted you to tell everybody you used to be a sheriff. Deputy. Yes. Dep deputy. Deputy. Yep. Deputy um, sheriff. Is that what they're called? Deputy sheriff yeah. or deputy? Um, out of high school, I went through the, they call it a POTA, Ohio Police Officer Training Academy. Um, it's like a nine month academy um, in Van Wert County. I was like 19 years old, one of the youngest law enforcement. Um, officers over there at the time and then started out the jail worked my up to uh work my way up to the road and then was a road sergeant before uh ended up leaving and then finished my bachelor's degree um, had some health issues and stuff like that so um, okay. but yeah it was an interesting career um and that's one of the reasons i respect um, law enforcement here in Finley in the community and the surrounding areas um and then and they need that right now with uh things that's going on in our country today okay Hey, anything else? Anything else you need to add before we we wrap this 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 great talk we've had, Brad? I mean that too. I mean that too. Not just because you're you know a member of the gym and you're you know paying me every month. I, I like you. I like you. <laughs> anything yeah, else? Anything you else know, you want to say? Um, anything else you want to say? No, I just about the first I, ward. I I enjoy living in my ward. I, I, again, we the whole time we've been talking, we've been driving around the ward because yes. I looked at you, showed me the picture of the ward, and um, you love your ward. I do. I, I respect, you know, I talked to, I went down and talked to some of my neighbors there, you know, the other day and an elderly gentleman that it'd be crazy to know that the stuff that he knows that goes up on, on the street, um, every day, you know, he knows so-and-so vehicles they drive and it's, it's oh, that's kind funny. of that's interesting funny. to see, uh, you know, he, he tells me my truck was dirty and I needed to wash it the one day and he's surprised <laughs> I let it get that Oh, dirty one of those and, neighbors. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, dandelions in your yard. He probably knows how many dandelions you have in your yeah, yard, too. It, it's a pleasure to, to work with some of those people and, uh, you know, I, the one day I was out walking and walked up to a house with a couple uh, older ladies um, and they were out trying to rip out some bushes, I believe, you know, and uh, it actually was just down the street. But, uh, I stopped and, you know, I told him who I was and I helped him rip out the flame stripping out the bushes and gave him a door hanger and wow. gave him my, my wow. wife, you know, so that's just, I tell you, you what, you, if you were walking by my house and I was ripping a bush out and you stopped by and 
help me. Re- I, I think I, I, I you probably that's have just, my vote. That's me though. You know, that's just the, the my personality is. You know, I got you got to help people. Um, yeah, that is you. That is you. Again, I've known Brad for five, six years now. Five or six years works out at my gym. That alone's that you're dedicated to a physical fitness program. In my eyes, means that you're 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 motivated and. Uh, I, uh, I've always liked talking to you, Brad. I have a lot of respect for you. And, um, uh, again, I'm out of the city limits, so I'm kind of neutral here a little bit. Uh, I'm not, not able to vote for, for city council, but I just, uh, I, I do respect you, man. I, I do respect people you. that tell me they, they don't live in my ward. Um, they wish they could vote for me. And I think the best thing you can do is, is you know, talk highly of me or you know, give people your opinion of me that the people that do live in my ward and I appreciate their vote if, uh, they get out and vote on election day. When's election day? May fourth. Be two weeks from last Tuesday. So a two. So so Tuesday. so a week from this coming Tuesday. Brad Weisner, first board city council, Finley, Ohio. Thanks, my man. Thanks, my man. This was fun. Uh, it was fun. Stay in your lane. There's a. Stay, you know, there's a yeah. stay in my lane. There's a cop. See, look, he's already directing me. And like, well, I'm in your ward. I mean, okay, one more thing. If I'm in your ward, and but I don't live in your ward, and I'm just causing ruckus in your ward, can you? You could probably. You can probably say, hey, well, you know, what, what are you doing, Jim? Get out of our ward. Yeah. Take it back to your ward. Take it back to your Liberty Township ward. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kind of trying to be funny. Was that kind of funny or not really? Do you have a sense of humor? Yeah, no, I know he does. You know, grow up in like, you know, rural Van Wert County, and especially when you're a deputy, it seems like everybody knows everybody. So it was kind of hard to um, decipher between, you know, if you had to go out and rest your friend or not, and it, you know, falls back on the law's law. And if you screw up you're gonna go to jail yeah so. yeah okay I'll, i'm with you well okay we're gonna wrap it up here and i'm sure brad you're probably what we're gonna pick up garbage in your ward the rest of the day help people throw bushes around trim trees up all that good stuff right i'm actually going out with the honor society tomorrow from the uni- or the high school national honor society and they're picking up for earth day earth day they are uh we're picking up some trash along some creeks and then out by the university um the horse center south of town so and for those of you that have followed me a little bit on social media you know i don't like trash you know i don't like cigarette butts and trash so hey thanks for doing that yep thanks thanks yeah yeah thanks brad weisner for uh doing this and and good luck to you man thanks jim all right thanks dude